Hey guys, Dr. Sam here helping you get closer to great skin days. So, you've started your retinoid, congratulations, well done. Um, and you're into what I call the second skin cycle now. So that means you've done six weeks or more. And things should be starting to get a little bit easier because what we know is that through usage, you become tolerant to retinoids, a process called retinization. So my hope will be that you've gone from using a smaller amount every other night to using hopefully larger amounts every night. If you haven't, that's fine. You're still better to keep on going. It just may be that your goalposts for increasing the intensity of your routine are slightly further apart that you you step up at three months so don't panic what's more important is to be consistent little and often wins the race all right so that's key keep on going it doesn't matter if you're not doing it every single night just keep on going however if you are able to use it every day and you're using a larger amount so you've gone maybe from a half a fingertip to a full fingertip quantity you should now be starting to see signs of improvement. So this is where your documentation of your skin, and I would probably do that every maybe two weeks with good quality selfies in natural light will really start to pay off. So I think this is all about defining what we're trying to achieve. If it's someone who's blemish prone, that's pretty easy. We want fewer comedones, fewer inflammatory spots, and fewer um, dark marks that create the appearance of an uneven tone and greater clarity of the pores. And I think you can measure those things. You can actually count those things to show that you're headed on the right path. With premature aging, it's slightly different. But again, I think photographs really do help you document what's happening with your skin. And I think the things that you'll notice in the first six weeks and beyond is that the way the light interacts with your skin changes. Everything just starts to pop and glow and reflect the light better. So I think at this stage, it's still really important to keep your routine simple. I know that the siren call of masks and scrubs and I don't know oils and all the the shiny things you see on Instagram on a daily basis might be luring you in the direction to add more elements to your routine but please 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 stick with the simplicity of a retinoid based routine in isolation for a bit longer all right now I think at this point in, in, in your process it's time to reinforce the sun sensitivity issue um, I'll tell you a little secret. I have to say that with some of my more severe acne patients, when we start retinoids and things at the beginning, you know, it depends on what time of year we're talking about, of course, but I am less obsessive in the first six weeks with sunscreen if someone has really significant acne, because I know that there will be some turbulence in terms of dryness and so forth, um, because they're introducing powerful, potent topicals. And if I insist on them wearing a sunscreen whenever this is all potentially quite dry, I kind of know it's just going to be game over and they'll probably abandon everything, not just the sunscreen. So I think that the first six weeks, it's key to practice sun avoidance. So that might mean if you live in a hot country, wearing a big hat, not being outdoors, no strong hours of sunshine. Um, but really it's about managing to get through the first six weeks using the topicals. But by the time you get into week six to 12, sunscreen has to happen, okay? Um, so I think the key things to find a sunscreen that work for your skin um, include things like being non-comedogenic so it won't clog up your pores. Because, you know, who isn't concerned about breakouts, particularly when it comes to sunscreen, because so many of them aren't formulated in a way that's sympathetic to blemish-prone skin. Um, it's to look for one that's non-fragranced and it's to look for one that's proper broad spectrum cover. So again, I say do not rely on the SPF in your moisturizer, in your foundation or whatever. It tells you nothing about the UVA protection and given that we're all concerned about avoiding premature aging, UVA protection is paramount and you will be best served by a broad spectrum sunscreen because that means that the UVA and the UVB levels um, are, are in a similar place. So those key things I think will keep you safe and will protect your skin that is now newly retinized, okay? Um, what else is there to say at this stage? I think this is this time is just to get really comfortable with your routine. You should be seeing the benefits now. Um, and I think you're probably ready to go on to stage three, which I'll come to shortly. Bye for now.